And speaking of state tournaments, Class C boys are underway in Missoula. Fort Benton and Twin Bridges in a tight first round game in this one. We'll go to the second half. Longhorns showing some flashy defense. That's Garrett Decons rejecting that attempt, but he is not done later on a Twin Bridges fast break. Another opportunity for Garrett. Close to goaltending, wasn't called. Decon swats it away. He had six blocks on the day, but the Falcons keep working. Matthew Kaiser gets the Longhorns in the air on the fake, lays it in. But then later, Hayden Decons would take over down the stretch. Here he is with the putback underneath off the missed three. Then we'll get a few more of him right here on the right wing. Remember that spot from Hayden, as that one's a long two. This one went down to the wire. It's tied 39 apiece with a minute to go in the fourth quarter. But Hayden Decon spots up again. Same spot. Money from distance. Fort Benton scored the final nine points. They're still undefeated. 48-39 the final. On to the semis. Meanwhile, some more first round action. Belt Huskies taking on the SCOBY Opime Spartans. In this one, it was all SCOBY from the start. Second quarter, nice dish inside to Braden Cromwell for an easy two. And SCOBY kept their foot on the gas. Absent Stentoff inside, fights contact, and banks it in off the glass. Later, Spartans really rolling now. Cromwell just grabs the ball from Cayman Evans there. Full court pass to Jace Tandy to the hands of Caden Handren, who is a wide open bucket. Scoby up 22 to six in the third belt, fighting hard. That's Asa Jensen going to the rack. He gets hammered, but he gets the bucket and the foul. But the Spartans, too much in this one. Cromwell, again inside. Can't stop the big man who's got the touch. Huskies went without scoring for more than 11 minutes. Scoby moves on to the semifinals, 51-23. They'll take on Manhattan Christian tomorrow.